Welcome and congratulations. First position, Andy Birnbacher from Germany. Second position, Simon Foucault, France. And third position, Emil Hegles-Wensen, Norway. Andy, third World Cup win, second of the season after the pursuit at Hofilzen and today zero missed shots. What has changed with your training the last months? Mm, in the training uh, had nothing changed. Um, the time was not so long because I start in the start in Schalke was was hard for me and uh, I had a lot of uh, stress with traveling and so on and the last days I felt uh, a little bit tired in sprint and uh, and in the relay. So <laughs> it was amazing for me that I um, can do this performance today. In some way you are now some sort of the team leader of the German men. Um, is there a special feeling to be now on this position after uh, such a long time to be the best German man at the moment? Um, no, I, I think I'm not the leader in the team. We, we, are, we are all the leaders that aren't Pfeiffer uh, when won yesterday and so uh, I'm not the leader in the team. We are, we are all good sportsmen and, and everybody can win in this team. Does your performance in the last uh, World Cups uh, even puts more pressure on you um, towards the World Championships or are you still relaxed with that? Uh, I think the pressure for me is, uh, is not more. Only for the press, not for me. Uh, for me it's better to have one win before for, for my motivation. It was really good. Simo. You matched now your brother with uh, the podium positions. Um, are you coming out of his shadow now at the World Cup level? Uh, Martin has uh, two victories uh, and I have no victory this season and before two so he is still uh, in front of me and uh, I will fight uh, to, to catch him as this uh, next race. I, I know I'm in shape, uh, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I, uh, I can't really nothing, I think it's just because I'm more relaxed and I, I try to, to take each race, each race one, uh, one after one and yeah, it's totally, yeah, I'm really satisfied about what I did today but it's a uh, yeah, kind of big surprise for me to, uh, to arrive to catch uh, all this podium. Uh, in three weeks, uh, three podiums, so it's uh, amazing for me. Another great day for the French team, as we saw also Alexis Berth from the sixth today. Great consistency in the whole team, also men, also women. Uh, do you think that the coaches expect this level of, su of success this season? Uh, I can't speak about uh, the women, but uh, for the men, I think uh, our coaches uh, knew that uh, we could uh, do some uh, some good results this season because uh, when you have someone like uh, Martin uh, in your team, and when uh, during each training you have to fight with him and to be uh, same level than him, I think you can expect that that during the season you can do some great things. So I think our coach. Uh, um, uh, they they didn't know, but uh, they hope that we we could uh, we could fight in the front of the race. Emil, yesterday you missed three shots uh, and were six, but we saw you in an outstanding running performance. Today also three missed shots, great running shape, but problems obviously with the shooting. Um, what's what's the problem at the moment? Uh, I don't know. I'm lacking a little bit confidence. I think. Uh, uh, as you say, my, my running shape is good and I feel really strong, but uh, my shooting is, is not so good. I, I, I don't feel confident on my shooting range and I'm hoping it will, it will be better, but uh, for sure I have some, I have some work to do. And, uh, but it's always a little bit like this in a season. You have, you have good periods and you have bad ones and that's, that's just the way it is. But uh, right now I'm, I'm not so confident on the shooting. so. I'm really hoping I will I will find out uh, what is wrong, but I don't I can't give you an exact answer, but for sure I will be I will be back uh, even stronger. This time Oberhof uh, seems not to be a very good place for the Norwegian men. Um, will it will there be a change in Novemesto and how about Bö and Björndal? 
Uh, yeah, I think uh, hopefully I, Oberhof has never been such a good place for me. I I, I think I w have won uh, a World Cup in every other World Cup uh, stage in in the World Cup, but never in Oberhof. So it's uh, it's not the best place for me. But uh, yeah, for sure I think uh, the Norwegian men will show show some 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 good results uh, for the next rounds and and uh, Bull and Bjørndal there at home resting now and will be super strong next week and uh, I think uh, for the rest of the season it's only good to have a little bit of rest and Taya is sick and Ola is only training so uh, they will be back stronger and uh, I think I also will be stronger when they are around me because I always feel better like when the two best are around me I I, I push myself even harder so uh, it's, it's, it's sort of a, a, a situation that we 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 get better when we are together all the best do we have questions no thank you very much